We're next going to look into the nature of change in organizations. And I really like this quote from Charles Darwin. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. And I'm sure with organizations, you've seen some come in that seem to have lots of money and great ideas and such, yet they don't seem to last long. Whereas others start out really small, they don't seem to have a lot of money, but they manage to survive and continue to grow even during difficult times. This is most likely to their ability to adapt. Change is always happening, and so organizations can either choose to go with it to be proactive, or they can try to ignore it and hope it just goes away, although that rarely happens. So the ones that are proactive can actually do their research and they can find opportunities within the change that they can leverage. They can also put processes in place to avoid the risks that might harm them. So over time, these organizations that are proactive and embrace change are much more likely to be successful. So consider that change is a process. It doesn't just happen instantly. You start with a current state and you want to move to a new state, but there's a transition state in between. And depending on the scope of the change and the size of your organization, this could be everywhere, anywhere from, say, a few weeks to several years. But you need to start with a clear vision. You need to know where you're going and why. And from there, do some planning, some preparation. Perhaps you need budgets or people need to be trained. And then take action. There will be some progressive steps that you need to take to actually bring you to that new state. And all along the way, constantly being evaluating and seeing if you need to change course depending on the changing conditions and drivers around you.